Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this Unturned Map Editor tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create and detail a train station. Now this one was uh, suggested by you guys, so as always, if you guys keep suggesting tutorials for me to do, I will keep doing them. So please feel free to leave those in the comments below and any questions you might have about pretty much anything. So um, to begin, uh, what I've done is I've set up a basic railway road piece here. As you guys can see, if I unhide the road nodes, it's really simple. Really just three nodes and just a simple railway. So before you guys start making your train station, it would be best if you guys figure out where you want to have it and make sure that you make it on a flat area and make it relatively straight as well. As you can see, this is pretty much perfectly straight and you know that's going to be the easiest way to make these. So um, one of the main components we're going to use here is called station. Uh, that's this one here, station number one. There is only one station as well. So don't be confused by that. And we're also going to be using some of these train pieces. Now the train pieces are optional. You can have like an empty train station, but I'm just going to put these in here for those of you who do want to have them. So I'm going to start by assembling uh, one of these train cars using wheel number two and tra train car number one. I'm going to copy that one over there because I'll use it multiple times as well. So I'm going to raise this up so I can get on the underside of it. Uh, sadly, the way these are made, there are no wheels attached to them. So you got to sort of assemble it yourself. So I'm going to use the Control-B, Control-N method to place it in the very center of the train. I'm going to move it over a certain amount using snap rotation, whatever feels right. And I'm going to select them both and move them down to whatever distance feels right for that as well. So that looks pretty dang good. So I'm going to leave it as two of them, and at this point I can just move them together. So the reason I made this first is because I need to find out how far away I should actually make this train station, because you need to make sure that uh, these rail cars are relatively accessible from um, the train station itself. So as you guys can see, uh, with the distance away, I can probably move this a bit closer. And guys, I am going to make another one of these on the other side. So pretty much I'm just going to copy paste it, rotate it, and snug it up on the other side as well. And I'm just going to eyeball these. I'm not going to make them exactly perfect or anything. But pretty much now we have our train station as it is surrounded by you know these, these loading and unloading platforms. So I'm actually going to move this whole thing up just a little bit because the wheels are in the ground just a tiny bit. That looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to move this down the track over here. We'll work with that later. So, we've got a lot of objects that we can put on this train station. So, we, for example, we've got uh, lots of crates. We've got tables. You could put tables on there, sort of like as a check-in spot to get your ticket or whatever. We've got hay bales. Those will be more of on the cars, but you could stack them in the train station as well. We've got chairs to go with the tables. We've got barrels. Those are definitely a common item. Coil pallet wood and hesco now guys of course there are many other things you can put on this train station people these days transport just about everything so you can pretty much put any type of object in here you could put dishwashers you could put air conditioning units you know it, it you name it you can put it in a train station because at one point or another they could be shipped by train so I'm gonna start by just picking a couple of these I'm gonna choose barrels because they are pretty classic and I'm just gonna make a pile of barrels over here now, of course, like most object detailing, pretty much your whole goal is just to fill the space and make it look good. So pretty much I'm just going to get a bunch of these barrels and make a semi-randomized stack of them. Now, there really is no good method of doing this. I'm just copy-pasting them and moving them around to where they're almost touching sort of to just make a nice stack up. Now I'm not making any sort of pattern in these like sometimes you can do patterns of three at a time stuff like that that is up to you guys if you want to make a pattern inside of these barrel stacks go ahead and do that. Um, it really just depends on what you guys want. So that's a pretty good barrel stack um, it looks pretty natural here I might place one of those on the top and I'll have to move it up just a tiny bit and actually, I'll put two up here, maybe three actually, just to make it seem a little more natural. One of them by itself looks a little odd. And guys, feel free to make different colors of these. 
you really don't have to stick with one color you can do whatever you want so a good way actually of doing these colors if you want to switch other colors in and out let's copy that and move it over there what you can do is you can click on that and do control B then delete it click on this and press control N and what that will do is it will literally take the spot and switch them out exactly as they are so I'm going to do one with the green one I'll put it on top this time control B delete that one control N and it's now taking the exact spot and guys in terms of the rotation of these if you really want to get picky you can rotate these randomly each one uh, it is possible that people will notice that they're all rotated the same way but uh, the chances of that happening are minimal especially when you have them in a big stack like that but if you want to do that extra bit of detail feel free to do that it's really up to you how much time and detail you want to spend on this so that's pretty much it for the barrel stack uh, of course you can put many other of these on you know the unloading platform I'm gonna actually put um, some crates on there because these are very common items to have so I'm gonna put the crates on the other side I'll put them around the same area so I'm just gonna start by putting a crate here um, I don't want to keep I want to keep everything behind this yellow line that's obviously a matter of preference as well because uh, generally you do want to keep stuff behind the yellow line because that's like the safety line and if you don't you risk getting hit by the train there so I'm just gonna keep all these boxes behind there but guys it really is up to you how you want to design this so I'm gonna leave it with three boxes like that and then I'm gonna nestle some of these smaller ones in between and guys feel free to be creative with this uh, there's of course the scaling so you can make these big boxes small boxes it really just depends on what you want to do um, I'm gonna make sure they don't clip into each other at all and I'll just put one more to make a semi realistic box pile now it looks pretty good and it's adding a lot of detail to this train station so I am gonna add a table here just as the sort of check-in table I'm gonna put it right here and of course guys I'm roughly estimating how far they should be and what I should do with that I'm also gonna take a chair and I'm gonna put a chair along with it and I'm gonna add a few items that I didn't think of before register for a cash register so that people can pay if you don't have one of these people will not be sure what this table is for if you put a cash register there they'll be like okay that is obviously the place to check in and pay for tickets stuff like that you could also put uh, a computer uh, my spelling is off computer there we go I'm gonna put computer 3 which is a laptop just because that fits the best on this table and you know it makes sense because this isn't in sort of a building so that'd be the best portable computer you could get for this situation and you know you guys could put any sort of thing else you could put uh, chess tables newspaper it's really up to you You could put a telephone there it really depends on what you guys want to do with this area so um, let's get into a little bit more detail let's put uh, I would put Hesco but they're kinda big I'll put a hay bale stack and I'm gonna use only these square ones because those uh, big round ones are quite huge so I'm gonna make a randomized hay bale stack as you guys notice I'm not using uh, perfect alignment on these and that is on purpose it just makes it look a little more natural okay so that's pretty much all we need four is gonna be fine I'm gonna scoot these together as much as possible and I'm actually gonna place one of these I actually created a duplicate I'm gonna place it on top and we're just gonna make a stack up here now of course like I was before I'm gonna be randomizing the angles that they're at and guys especially with this type of thing don't try to make them perfectly even they look good when they're not even because it looks more natural that way um, I am going to make a second row so just to fill up the space even a little better I'm gonna make a second row of these and I will be randomizing them like I was before alright so there's our two stacks there uh, of course we could have put the, them anywhere on the platform but that works it's nice and out of the way and you know it just looks kinda nice uh, one other last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move them out a bit I'm gonna randomize them a bit this way they did end up being pretty perfect stacks well not perfect obviously but pretty pretty aligned so I'm just gonna move them out randomize it even a little bit more just to get uh, sort of the effect I want 
So there we go. They're kind of crooked, but that is what I want. So that's how I'm going to leave it. So let us move on to making some of these rail cars. Now, I'm going to make them pretty much the exact same way I made this one, but uh, there's obviously different variations. So that's pretty much what we're going to do for this. So what I'm going to do, actually, this might work out really well. I'm going to do Control b on this, Control n on that. Obviously, the rotation is not perfect, but we can fix that. I'm going to move it over slightly. It looks like this is going to work well. So the reason I did this is because now all I have to do is Control c Control v and move the wheels over. And we now have two perfectly aligned wheels. They're going to match each other, and they're going to fit really well together. So I'm going to do about the same thing. Uh, the control B is still saved on this one, so all I have to do is control N, and then I can rotate this one as well. Move that to the side, paste those wheels in again, and line them up perfectly. I'll do the last same thing for this one. And instead of moving them back, I'm actually going to move this one forward. I'm going to paste the wheels again and line them up just like that alright so now we've got our whole train set up and so what I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna deselect these ones because I accidentally selected them there I'm gonna move this down to the rail oh gosh um, I accidentally also selected some of those hay bales so this is gonna be a better way of selecting it right here from the side so I don't accidentally select something I don't want to select I'm going to move these about right here, pretty much where exactly I want to leave them. And I'm going to press Control B. Now I'm going to save this location. And the reason I do this is because now I can select this set right here. I'll do this one on the end and press Control N. That'll mesh them together. And this allows me to just move them back as far as I want and connect them like this. Now guys, um, as you guys may notice, there is no specific connector bar in between them. So what I might do to make it look a little better is improvise and create my own. So I'm going to pretty much do the same thing with these other few ones. And just line them up here. Line them up, get the spacing I want, and then I will move on to creating an improvised uh, connector for these trains which because it's too bad because there is not a specific connector so let us get uh... let's see what would work best for this agriculture this is actually a really hard one to find this is the sort of gate thing here uh... it's actually a rake for a tractor so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna actually use the scale tool to create my own railroad connector for these so i'm gonna use i'm gonna press r and use the scale tool to scale this down I'm going to use snap scale so it's pretty much holding control while scaling and I'm going to scale from the middle and obviously guys scaling makes it change a lot so I'm actually going to move this down I'm going to snap it down to 0.5 and then I'm going to snap it down to 0.25 and I'm going to do it again and that might be large enough I'm going to do it one more time just to make sure it fits underneath the rail cars Okay, so that will work. Uh, that's That'll definitely fit under them. So now what I'm going to do, I'll put my snap transform back just because I like it at 0.5. I'm going to copy paste this and rotate it around. So now we have this interestingly complex looking uh, contraption here. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use control B and control N again. I'm going to control B to the very center of this, control N this to the very center. And then I'm going to move it between these two cars. Now, I might want to... Actually, this looks pretty good. So, the way this works is it just looks like it's a connector. That's pretty much it. It's all visual. Obviously, we know as the map builders that it is not a perfect connector. And it's actually something we made up. But this is the sort of thing you guys need to be doing now that we have the scale tool available. If there's an object that you want and you can't find it you guys need to be able to make this stuff so pretty much this all this just requires you to know a bit of the items that are available and pretty much just creativity 
and you can make these. And so now, as we look closely at it, we've got this nice connector here. It doesn't look super great, but you know, it'll work for our purposes. So it looks great. And obviously, since it's very in the very middle, it doesn't really poke through the floor much. I am going to lower this one a tiny bit and make sure it doesn't poke through the floor. And there we have it. We've got some good connectors. So, um, now that we have our basic train together, obviously you guys don't have to have it pulled up into the station, but at some point on your railroad tracks, you should have a train. We should probably put stuff inside the train, because that's the whole point. They carry stuff. So, this could be a passenger car, guys, and if you want this to be a passenger car, just fill this up with chairs, something like that would definitely work. Or benches, that would work as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put some HESCO in here just because I'm a little lazy. This will fill up the space pretty quickly and, you know, it's pretty easy. Just put a couple HESCO in here and it's done pretty much. Um, I'm going to rotate this one a little bit just to differentiate it between its other HESCO over here. And that's pretty much all you need for this one. Uh, I could have put another HESCO in the middle, but just for the sake of leaving it open so the players can get through it, I'm just going to leave it like that. Now, as you guys notice, I had logs over here. Uh, those logs are going to be for this rail car right here. Now, obviously, they're freaking huge. I'm going to use the scale tool once again. I'm not going to use the snap scale. I'm just going to do it by hand and line it up about like this to where it fits pretty much as well as I want it to. So I'm going to lift it up a little bit. And uh, that looks all right. Now, guys, this isn't going to be completely realistic. This one looks like it's falling off uh, one thing you could do to try to fix that make it even smaller and try to center it on there even more really it's gonna be a hard it's gonna be pretty hard to get these to fit perfectly on here just because the logs aren't lined up super well but uh, that'll work for now and that actually doesn't look half bad so besides all of this stuff I do have these crossing items so we've got this one which is the classic railroad crossing I'm going to put this here, and I'm going to put one on the other side. Um, I would definitely put these guys wherever the railroad crosses a road or some sort of intersection. And putting it around a train station as well would not be a bad idea. So also we've got crossing number three and crossing number two. These ones are also for roads. So for example, if we had a road going right through here, we would put this down like this. And we'd put another one on the other side as well. So just so you guys know what these objects are, that's what they do. So that's pretty much it. Uh, we've got a decently detailed uh, train station here. Obviously, we've got other items we could have put down. We've got coils, wooden pallets, other hay bales, stuff like that. Of course, guys, you can make this train as long as you want. Um, obviously, if you have the tra train track bending... I would bend the train with it. Um, that'll be a little tricky, but that'll be up to you guys to figure out. So anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this Unturned Map Editor tutorial. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see some more. I will see you all later.